The Know Nothing Party was officially the American Party, but was called the Know Nothing by everyone else because of their motto, I Know Nothing, when they were asked about the party by other people. They emerged after the death of the Whig Party and competed with the Republicans to be the next big rival to the Democrats in the 1850s. The Know Nothing were a sectional and regional party and would only host one presidential candidate, the former president Millard Fillmore. Other leaders were not known to the public, and they operated in secret. We do know that James Barker was the main organizer. They also ran gangs that would jump immigrants in their regions in order to stop others from wanting to come to America. Bill Poole was the main enforcer for these gangs, but would be shot in 1855. The Know Nothings believed in the restriction of immigration of mostly Irish people to the United States and were very anti-Catholic. They believed in immigration restriction in order to preserve the American way of life and looked to increase the time of naturalization to 21 years and also wanted to suppress Catholics due to the perceived anti-democratic perception of the Pope, which is seen as God's representative on earth by Catholics like me. This makes the Pope seem like an authoritarian figure, almost like a monarch, but I didn't make this channel to argue about theology, so go argue with the wall about whether or not you think the Pope is authoritarian or not. The Know Nothings also opposed funding to religious schools and some supported temperance. They were a very nativist party and came about as a result of increases in immigration. This party would be based in many regions across the nation. Because of this, different sections had different beliefs, but they all agreed on one thing. Hate immigrants, hate Catholics. They mostly ran in local elections and weren't much popular nationwide. They primarily found support in the Northeast, as that is where most immigrants would go to when they traveled to the nation. Many Americans were appalled by this party, like Abraham Lincoln, for example. The Know Nothings developed in the 1850s in the ashes of the Whigs. They had formed in 1849 off the Order of the United Americans and the Order of the Star-Spangled Banner. They would court some members of the Whigs with their anti-nativist stances, which would limit the power of the Democrats as they courted immigrants with their policies. The Know Nothings also courted Southern Whigs primarily with their neutrality on slavery, which is what the Southern Whigs responded to best as they didn't want to support it, but they also weren't brave enough to go against it and risk the kind of mob violence that Southern slavery supporters were known for at the time. The Know Nothings would achieve their highest point in 1854 after achieving 43 seats in the House of Representatives, but this would be short-lived as the Kansas-Nebraska Act would turn the nation towards the slavery debate entirely and the Republicans would start to include some nativist stances in their party platform, although it wasn't as extreme as the Know Nothings and mainly pertained in immigration restrictions to protect laborers and businesses, mostly the businesses. After the Kansas-Nebraska Act passed, the party would start to take a stance on slavery as they hated African Americans too, which was included along with everything else that wasn't Anglo and Protestant. The Know Nothings would be split following this with the Northern ones going to the Republicans and the Southern ones going to the Democrats. Some would join the Constitutional Union Party under John Bell, but would lose and that party would end up disbanding. These were the primarily in the border states. And there was some revival of the party in the 1880s on the question of Asian immigration, but it wouldn't last as the Republicans and Democrats were already dealing with the immigration question during that time period and it was hard for a one-issue party to gain supporters when the two major parties have already addressed your main issue. The American Party came in the shadow of the Whigs and developed primarily based on the question of immigration, but this party would end up failing as the focus of the nation turned to the question of slavery, and the American Party would be split by its two rivals and would be dispersed among many parties in America. While they may not exist today, their ideals still do. Whenever a nativist movement pops up in American history, they are usually inspired by the party that knew nothing but hated everything. Thank you for watching. The next video will be about the Republicans.